Gail, what's wrong? I just need to take a hard look at myself, and I... I don't think I can do it without some structure, some guidance. Well, Tim and I always thought very highly of Patricia Hoffman. Do you have a pencil and paper? No. Go ahead. Hi. Hi. I wanted to call, but I didn't think... Oh, I'm think... glad you didn't. Well, huh? how bad was it? It was wretched. The worst fight I've ever had with my mother in my life. She slapped me, and he came in on us. Oh, I don't know what's happening to yeah, me. Yeah, well, I suppose all mother-daughter relationships are difficult, whether you're the mother or the daughter. At the moment, my mother isn't talking to me, which, uh, under the circumstances, is a relief. How's Amy? Oh, she's all right. I think she senses that something's in the air. I, she doesn't know what it is. I'm sorry. It was bound to have happened sooner or later. I mean, that somebody found out. <gasps> I'm so sorry. I just feel like my life is, is out of control. Well, isn't that what they say about love? You know, but I'm not talking about love. I'm talking about misery. I mean, I feel like my life is cut up like a jigsaw puzzle. I, I can't make any of the pieces fit. It'll work out in time. Look, I'm not a kid anymore, Marjorie. My time is running out. As long as we can abide by the Marquis of Queensbury rules. I came to apologize about that. That means you owe me one. Come on in. I've had a few days to think about everything. I still don't think it's right, mind you, but I want to understand. You're still my daughter, and I love you, no matter what. I love you. You just can't live my life for me. I know. My mother's failing us, yes? I've been guilty of that, too. Amy doesn't know anything about this, does she? Of course not. I want to know what I've done to contribute to this. Ready to accept responsibility for it. You didn't do anything. But what if Amy turned out to be gay? What would you do then? I wouldn't do anything. Uh, she's still my daughter, no matter what. I'm still your daughter. We're all connected. Family's a family. How could this happen? I uh, have to get ready for work. Ben's been good to you. Ben wants his own way, and he's used to getting it. Oh, honey, all men are like that. They have too much on their minds. I don't want that. I want a true partnership with another human being. You and Tim had a perfect marriage. Oh, don't idealize it, Mom. We made a lot of compromises. Tim's work always came first. No matter how much I loved him, I, I don't want to do that again. Were physical relations all right? We were lucky there. I don't enjoy sex with Ben like I did with Tim. But you enjoy it with a woman? I can understand the friendship part, but I don't see why you have to make sex into it. It just happened. You know, if this is found out, it can haunt you the rest of your life. I hate to think that people could be so cruel. Well, they can be. And to Amy, too. Mom, I'm going to see a therapist. Do you think a therapist can cure you? I don't need a cure. 
I need to understand myself. Don't we all? You and I are very different people. You're more different than I am. <sighs> Try to be patient, okay? Give me some room. It's yours. My two More experiences than we thought. A percentage of these people are women. Some of them married and with children. This is going to be harder than I thought, isn't it? <laughs> I can't answer that for you, but it will take time. This is only our first session. You need to think about whether you want to continue this process. And it is a process. No, I can answer that now. I do want to work with you. Gail. Hello, Ben. Who says doctors don't make house calls? Hmm? Here, let me take that. No, it's okay. Thanks. What do you want? Your mother visited me in the office today. She what? Yeah. Look, uh, Amy's going to be coming home any minute from school. I, uh, I don't want her to overhear any of this. I could kill my mother for this. She thought she was doing the right thing. Look, if this is going to be an emotional discussion, I can't handle it. I'm saturated. Look, I just want to say that uh, I don't think that I'm quite as, shall we say, uninformed as your mother. Gay people can lead productive lives. But you... I, I, I don't understand. Ben, this has nothing to do with you. No, 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 maybe it does. Maybe I was insensitive. Maybe I wasn't so good in bed. Let's not lower this to a comparison of sexual performances. Look, Gail, if it were a man, I would know how to act. See, I don't know what to do. You don't have to do anything. It's me that has to do something. Have you seen Dr. Hoffman? Oh, yes, I've seen her. I like her very much. Maybe I, I shouldn't have called you for reference, huh? No, no, no. I was glad to help. I, I, I want to help. But our relationship still isn't clear. If I gave you any mixed messages, I'm sorry. I am learning something in therapy. I'm learning that it's it's going to be a long haul. Mm -hmm. it's none of my business, but um, are you seeing her tonight? Yes. Call a 13 year old who doesn't think about it all the time. Tell me. Superstitious. <laughs> Larry, that is funny. You must be losing your touch. Yeah. I hear you've been asking about me. I have? My father told me. He saw you at your apartment. I can't figure out what's going on. Your dad looked awful, and Grandma's really mad about something. Everybody's so neurotic. I'm sorry. I've been out of it lately. But I really miss you. I mean, talking to you. 
Hey, Jeffrey's having a party at his house next Saturday night. How about going with me? If I go with you, will you help me with my math? It's one thing you're good at. Sure. I'll drop by your place one night and give you a hand. I like that. like we all have the same idea, huh? Ben Taylor, this is uh, Marjorie Lloyd. I'd be lying if I said I wasn't curious to meet you. Well, now you have. You're very good looking. You don't look like one. Ben, come on. It's an honest response. You're very good looking yourself. I suppose we should admit that Gail has good taste in all respects. Okay, Ben, now that you've had your fun, could you leave us alone? No, it doesn't have to go on my account. It's an account of you that I've lost her. Oh, please, that line went out with Helen of Troy. Now, somebody doesn't get stolen away, you know. If a person wants to walk, they walk. I didn't want to walk. I didn't know what I wanted. But now you do, huh? I can see that Dr. Hoffman is doing you a world of good, Gail. Dr. Hoffman? A psychiatrist, I was going to tell you. Yeah, if you'd stayed with me, you wouldn't need a shrink, would you? If she stayed with you, she'd be a candidate for a mental institution. <laughs> you know, if you were a man... Well, that's exactly the issue, isn't it? Marjorie. <sighs> Your ego can't take it. You know, no woman becomes a lesbian out of reaction to men. She becomes a lesbian because she loves women. You men have to make yourself the center of attention, don't you? That's right out of a textbook. Oh, stop it! You two are behaving like children. Just stop. I, I'm sorry, Gail. Could somebody buy me a cup of coffee? I wonder why I always end up in the middle. Well, you know, it's an easy decision that you have to make to get yourself off dead center. You make everything sound easy. You make everything sound difficult. Excuse me, but uh, this is where I came in. Let me ask you a question. Mm -hmm. Do you ever have a good relationship with a man? Do you know how pathetically chauvinistic you are? 